hello and welcome again to my channel and you've seen the title so i'm sure i'm not the only one who struggles with feeding your kids during the summer holidays i mean i hope i'm not the only one i think it's a struggle that a lot of parents can relate to it's a struggle that a lot of moms can um, relate to i mean it's not just the fact that the grocery bills will be going up i mean that's one part of it um it's also the challenge of having to offer a variety of nutritious meals to our kids during the summer holidays it's also the fact that we have to balance feeding them with other demands on our time i mean i struggled last summer holiday and this summer holiday it's going to be a struggle again but i'm going to share four things that i'm doing this time to see if i can take the stress out of feeding them during the holidays the first is to meal prep and plan so i basically plan in advance um what we'll be having each week and this gives me an idea of the things that we need and then i'll stock up on them as much as i can and then i'm going to make a lot of base sauces so as you can see here this is jello fry sauce i'm also prepping some spaghetti sauce um prepping these base sauces basically helps me to skip some of the steps in the cooking process yeah, so, so cool. as you can see can here you see i'm here? also prepping ah, some ah, beans ah, i'm just going to cook a big batch of um beans and i'm going to store them in small packs so whenever i need to cook beans it's just ready to go if for whatever reason you can't do this yourself you can always pay someone to do them for you but also you can show your domestic staff this video to make their lives easier as well so i'm packing in small containers and now pop them in the freezer I also bake some cakes in foil plates, freeze them so they're ready to go whenever we need them. The second thing that I'm going to be doing is batch cooking and that's closely related to the first thing that I shared. This is where when I make um, meals on the weekends, I just make a bigger batch so that I can store for the week. Now what this does is that it gives me some days in the week where I do not have to cook at all. I don't cook anything all i just need to do is to reheat the food on the stove i mean you can see i'm doing it with fish with vegetables with spaghetti so basically i just cook a bigger batch um to save me from cooking every single day during the week now the third one is to use my leftovers i use leftovers wisely and i mean for me <laughs> variety doesn't mean that i serve you completely different foods it also means that i serve you same thing in a different way so last night for example we had yam and egg sauce and we had a lot of yam left over and i'm just chopping the yam as you can see and i'm adding it to some beans to make some yam and beans and this i mean um it just gives us the feeling that we're eating something different and um, even though it was just yesterday that we had last night we had the yam having yam again but this time with beans now the final thing is to use your kitchen technology honestly um i call it my kitchen technology my big and little helpers and i try to use i'm trying to use them as much as possible but one big thing is our oven many of my friends always say that they never use their oven because we just think that our oven is there for us to bake and if i don't bake then i don't need to use my oven so please share this video with your family and friends who have ovens but never use them year in year out <laughs> so yes there are so many ways that we can use our ovens to save time for example, before blending my pepper, especially when I have a lot, I like to roast them in the oven for about an hour and then blend them. This makes it really easy. So I don't have to stand blending and blending and blending. Um, I can just use my oven to save time. So another way that we can use our kitchen tech to save time is by using the inbuilt timers. For example, many ovens have inbuilt timers, air fryers, automatic timers, 
herbs have imbutimers that you can use so that you don't just stand around waiting for things to cook. For example, I'm making jollof rice here. I don't have the time to stand around and I'm just going to pop it in the oven and set a timer for an hour because I know that's going to be enough. Now, within that hour, I'll go off and do other important bits and use my time productively. After an hour, the oven is just going to remind me that it's done and I just pop it out. So that's one of the ways that you can use your time to save time. I mean, if you're... If your kitchen techs don't have imbued timers, you can always get a kitchen timer or use the timer on your smartwatch. But all in all, using a timer actually helps us save time in the kitchen in so many ways. So of course, to get us through the summer holidays, some days we're going to have to order takeaways. Some days it's going to be quick and easy sandwiches and milk or juice. But hopefully, most days, we'll be able to have nutritious home-cooked meals. And hopefully, it won't be too stressful this time around with all these tips that I am trying. Please feel free to share with me any tips and strategies that you'll be trying this summer holiday to make things a little bit easier for your family. Mm -hmm.